This tutorial is on setting up and using Jupyter Notebooks on AWS. So a while ago, I wrote a blog post and corresponding YouTube video on starting a Jupyter Notebook server on AWS. Um, while that approach allowed for multiple people to access the server with just a password, um, it really suffers from being complicated to set up. And people mostly just want to be able to access the Jupyter Notebook um, with the power of their EC2 instance. So I'll just show you a really simple approach to access your Jupyter Notebooks. Okay, so the first thing you have to do um, besides you know launching your instance um, is to be able to SSH to your, e to your EC2 instance. Um, so this is actually really simple. Basically, all you do is SSH, um, the path to your key, and since my key is on my desktop, it's just like this, um, your username, and then your public DNS, okay? So I just SSH into my EC2 instance. Um, the next thing you have to do is make sure you have Anaconda installed. Um, if you don't have it installed, I have a link in my blog post, which is um, down below the YouTube video, um, where you can you know have a bash script. Um, it's actually really simple to install Anaconda on Ubuntu. Um, the next thing you have to do is we basically just have to launch the Jupyter Notebook. It's relatively simple. Okay, and we're launching it on port 8888. Okay. The next thing we have to do is we have to open a new tab. Okay. So this is going to be relatively simple. We're basically just going to SSH to our Jupyter Notebook. Okay. So the SSH command is going to change a little bit. So essentially, we still have our key over here. Now we're just going to add another tag, which is the L tag. If you're curious um, what it does, I have an explanation over here. Um, basically, um, you have to have an available open port. Um, it's not always easy to know what ports are available. Um, so this 8212, this is just a local client host. And on the other side, um, one second. Okay, this 8888 um, is the port we launched our Jupyter Notebook on, on AWS. And the rest of this is just our username and our public DNS, okay? So that um, you'll see in a second when we try to access our Jupyter Notebook that we'll access it um, using port 8212, locally at least, okay? So next thing we have to do So now all you have to do is just, you know, enjoy life and use your Jupyter Notebooks um, using the power of your AWS instances. I should mention before you go that I have a pretty useful tutorial on con environments where, you know, um, basically you'll be able to use, you know, Python 2 and Python 3 um, and switch between different con environments over here. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Um, Thank you guys for your patience on me answering your questions. And please let me know if you have more questions. I'm always happy to help. Um, just leave comments you know, below the YouTube video, and that's it. And please subscribe. Bye.